Mr. Wolf, where are you? If you're playing a joke, it isn't funny. Sing inappropriately stuff. I spun around to see that the child had disappeared as well. He was right behind us. The clown started to walk down the hallway to look for Mr. Wolf. He can't have gone. What is it? It's nothing, I just stepped on something. He leaned down to pick the item off the ground. So, this is interesting. The cow walked back to show us what he found. He held out a blood covered doll of Mr. Wolf. I accidentally got broke on it from my shoes. So, he's a girl's plaything. Not much different from the original, I'd say. I whacked him quickly across the arm. Don't be crude! I noticed a folded up piece of paper sticking out from within the doll's belt. Wait, what's this? I pulled it out and unfolded it to find a message scrawled in blood. Find me. I guess that's our second clue. Found Mr. Wolf. Are you sure we can just carry on with the doll? At least it won't freak out or grab me in the dark. Well, either way we're not going to solve anything by standing in the middle of a corridor. We continue walking in awkward silence with a calm beside me and Mr. Bandages behind us. Oh, I can't take this anymore! Cal and I turned to look questioningly at him. Are you finally losing it? I'm sure he's lost it ages ago. Don't give me that! All your moonizers are driving me crazy. I feel like a damn third wheel or something. I flash at Mr. Bandages' words. Was it that of you? If you're feeling left out... Forget this, I'll walk in front, at least that way I don't have to see it. He pushed his way past us. Still, I pretended that nothing was wrong. Let's go after him. If we lose sight of him, we may never find him again. From the front, we heard Mr. Bandage's voice ring out across the corridor. You know, Cal, I never picked you as the shy type. Why don't you just confess and get it over with? I look over at the cow but he was finally looking away. We kept walking until we came to a set of doors. We should probably check out whatever is behind this door. I'll go, I don't think I can handle another moment with you two. Seriously, just get it over with. He pushed the door open. Kinky. He walked into the room and the door slammed shut behind him. The cow made a rude noise under his breath. The door handle and start rattling it, but the door wouldn't bulge. The light started to flicker, and the ominous singing rose up once again. Mr. Bandages, are you still around? A moment passed, but Mr. Bandages didn't respond. The back, Miss Archer. I'm knocking the door down. I move away from the door as the cow made his first attempt. The impact caused the door to shake, but he held fast. He tried again with the same result. This door is very sturdy. I should make a note of the company that was used. He was about to try for a third down when it suddenly creaked open by itself as the sinking faded. The cow looked towards the door then towards me before offering his hand. We need to stay together. It seems like we're being picked off one by one. Right. I felt the spark as my hand met his. I breathed in deeply to calm my racing heart. The cow gave no indication that he noticed anything amiss. We slowly made our way inside the room. Just as we thought, Mr. Bandages was no longer there. We scanned the room and found a headless Mr. Bandages doll lying in a pool of blood. The cow reached out and picked it up. Looks like he really did lose his head. Does this one have a note? The cow looked the doll over carefully before pulling a no out from under Mr. Bandages' bandages. He unfolded and read it aloud. Find me. The ghost is repeating herself. Why is it still me? Shouldn't be us now? Well, there is the possibility that the me refers to the ghost girl and not our lost companion. So we need to find the ghost girl before she captures us all. We search the room for any clues or exits other than the one we used to enter, but found nothing. I don't get it, how did they get Mr. Bandages out of here? Probably a trapdoor or secret passage. Eric did say the entire mansion was renovated just for the event. After all, it doesn't look like there's anything of interest here, so we should get moving. 
Yeah, now that we've lost Mr. Bandages and Mr. Wolf, we're probably running out of chances to find her. I think it's game over if we're all cowed before we find her. We left the room behind.